Welcome back graduates. So today I'm going to show you a new updated infinite scroll option that we do have uh, for Dawn theme. So this is going to be a paid snippet. This is going to be one single file. So it's going to be easy of use and it's going to work for uh, Dawn theme and future Dawn themes as long as they don't uh, alter uh, some of their uh, their code again. Um, but it is going to be one single file and all you're going to have to do is copy and paste this and then go into the theme editor and configure and I'll show you you all how to do that um, but again this is going to be specifically for dawn theme uh, other free themes like spotlight and um, and crave uh, they do have uh, a later version of it or also spotlight does have some kind of infinite scrolling so this only again works on dawn theme if you do have cussy cuss a heavy customization this might not work so please 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 um, this works if you don't have heavy customization or if there's no customization at all this does work this this does work on the latest version of 13 and it is a paid snippet um, so we have tested it and I'm gonna show you uh, right now how it works uh, so uh, this is our um, this is our demo and right over here this is what it looks like so we're gonna go to uh, uh, just show you just showing you all products and we have 26 products here um, and we do have uh, we don't have a infinite uh, pagination going on right now so that that means the customer on the collection page are is going to have to click and do another click to go and view the product uh, so that looks like this so I'm on page two you'll see that um, in the URL there's a page two and so forth so if you also do like this uh, wish list we do have um, that uh, uh, really cool uh, wish list feature as well. Uh, but going forward, uh, let's go uh and uh, view this and let's do this um, right in the steps so uh, what you're going to be given is a, uh, a Google Docs and uh, when you download this it's going to be a Google Docs or a PDF uh, and or a text file um, and also a RTF file as well um, just so uh, we've had other people complain that um, uh, some of the formats uh, don't translate uh, completely so we want to give you options for that uh, so right over here we gave you this uh, and so it's going to uh, give you the instructions in the green uh, add this add this as a new section and then go in and configure it so what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight this and we're going to copy and we're going to go into the theme editor right here so as you see as you saw before we did not have the infinite scroll so we're going to go in click um, into these three dots and we're going to go and click edit uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of my template because it is not going to be a template. It is going to be a section. So I'm going to go in and add a new section and I'm going to paste that right here. Make sure that there are no spaces because when you add a space, um, it's not going to it's not going to work. And also it's just not going to be formatted correctly. So this is going to be a liquid file and I'm just going to go and um, create that new section so I can start uh, closing out of these uh, here and just focus on this section here uh, so again this section does lie on the collection page and I'll show you how to uh, set that up in the theme editor once I get everything else uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire uh, string right here copy and I'm going to paste this uh, control all and I'm going to paste that all into here and I'm going to click save. That is the only thing I'm going to have to do. And now uh, once I once I uh, added that, I'm going to go in, double click on my three dots and click on customizer. Once I'm on the customizer, this is going to be a section, but this only works on the collection page. So note that. So I'm going to go on to my collection page and I am going to I have uh, 16 products uh, currently right now um, and I'm going to go into my product grid I'm gonna show all all my products all 24 products um, and I have let's see I have 4 8 12 uh, 16 so this means that I have 16 products uh, I need actually more products um, to display so what I'm gonna do uh, so now you see that I have 40 products. I'm just going to refresh this and I have 40 products uh, right here that I have uh, created. So if you scroll down, you'll start seeing in the theme editor that there is a page two option. Uh, so this works in kind of both ways. So if you go to the uh, product, uh, the product grid right over here, you can see and select how many you want to uh, display per page 24. Uh, this does work also if you display a little less. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, let's say 24, keep that at uh, 24 for the product grid and I'm gonna go in and start adding the section right over here it tells you to start adding in the new section called product custom loader uh, for the infinite scroll so I'll go back into here and I'll start typing in uh, loader 
and you'll see this is a new section that we created right over here product cust uh, the uh, custom product loader and over here we do have the option to just toggle uh, on and off to enable that section then uh, show load more button we can just type in uh, load more and then we can type in here load more we do have um, some great uh, settings for you guys as well so we're gonna start clicking on on there and then we do have the button size option, button transparent uh, color option, the button text color, and also rounded button option for you guys. Uh, so let's actually start seeing this in action. So we should have 40 uh, here. And you know what, in here, just so we can kind of see, we'll make it um, a good even 12, uh, 12 cards until it, need, until it needs to be an infinite scroll option. So we're gonna go in and we're going to close out of this, close out of this, and we're gonna start previewing all, all for my collection. So I have uh, around 40 products here, and I said for it to display around, uh, I believe it was uh, 12, so 4, 8, 12, and then now, there's a load more I didn't even have to click into it I just start scrolling it loads more just like so and I'll let you see that again so uh, reload this so there's 4 8 12 I'm not even clicking in for the customer just continuous scroll and that is what I was wanting to achieve this does also work on mobile device as well so we'll just go in and we will make this a nice mobile we'll refresh this we'll go to my products we'll go to my all and so I have 40 products uh, I can start scrolling down I I am not clicking not clicking not clicking and you see more load more and it just works flawlessly uh, so I'm gonna close out of that and I'm gonna show you um, in here you can do let's say uh, 20 products and uh, give Shopify a bit to update and you will see again up after after refresh uh, that I have 20 products and I still have a load more option even after it loads 20 so it works both with the product um, with the with the uh, product grid here but also with this section that we have uh, provided for you guys uh, let us know what you think please comment like and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of snippets uh, this is specifically for dawn theme um, without heavy customizations if anything no customizations um, this is a great feature uh, for your customers uh, so they don't have to uh, continuously click into viewing the next page but all in all just click add to cart and then uh, make a sale uh, so again comment like and subscribe if you have any comments if you need help please uh, email us at snippets at ecomgraduates.com and we really hope that you like this new infinite scroll feature thank you